Hi, my name is Natalie Hartzell and I'm a tutor at the Edison Writing Center. This screencast is going to show you how to create bibliographies on Noodle Tools, a website that is extremely helpful when using citations. So, first of all, we're going to log in. If you ha don't have an account, click on the Choose a Personal ID page now and enter in your Edison High School student ID. If you do have an account, just enter in your username and password and log in. So here we are. This is the home page of Noodle Tools. The first thing we're going to do is create a new project. So click on the Create a New Project tab over here. We are going to use MLA citations, and then you are going to click on the Advanced Citation level. Now name your project. For an example, I'm going to use Biology Lab Report and then you click on create project. Okay, so here's your dashboard for your new project and there are a lot of interesting things that you can do. You can create note cards to annotate your bibliography or you can click on works cited where you're going to create um, a citation. So here we go. We're going to select a citation um, type and right now we're going to practice citing a website, which is probably the most common form that you're going to find when writing um, a lab report and doing research online. So it takes you to a page to make sure you know what you're citing. So it says, show me what it looks like, how to evaluate it, and just to make sure that you're citing the correct type. So click on continue. All right, here we go. So we're citing a web page from a website. Um, the URL is not necessary, and anything that um, is required has a red star next to it, but you want to try to put in as much information as the article gives you. So here we have contributors, author, editor, translator, web page or, or article title, name of the website, publisher of the site, and so on. So here we go. We're going to go to our article about um, deforestation for my, our example biology lab report. So here we have the article and we have the author Brian Clark Howard. So that's the first thing you want to log in. So go back to Noodle Tools, contributor, go to author, first name Brian, middle name Clark, last name Howard. And you'll see that there's a little red underline if you've left it blank, meaning that you need to put something in there now. Okay, now, web page or document article title. Let's go back to our article, and the title is Brazil Leads World in Reducing Carbon Emissions by Slashing Deforestation. So we're going to go ahead and enter that in there. Something you can do is you can copy and paste if it's more convenient. Okay. Now we go to name of the website, and you see this little red dot means that it's required. So, the name of the website is National Geographic. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. Alright, so we're going to look and see if we can find anything else that, this, that the article provides, like editor or publisher of the site. So we're going to scroll, scroll down and see if we can find anything else. If not, it's okay, as long as you're meeting the requirements of the Noodle Tools that the Noodle Tools provides. So we can't really find anything else, so we're going to go back to Noodle Tools and make sure we filled in all of the required areas and then you can click submit. If you want to annotate your bibliography, meaning evaluate how credible it is and leave notes to remind yourself when you're looking back, this is where you would type. So now you click submit and as it loads, and here you go. You have your very first citation for your biology lab report. And you'll see where there's missing information. It'll say no publisher or no date, and that's fine. As you add more citations, Noodle Tools will automatically alphabetize it for you. 
So when you're going to copy it into your paper, you can just copy and paste or you can click export to Word or Google Docs wherever you're, you are writing your paper and Noodle Tools will do it automatically for you. So this was just a brief overview on um, the many tools that Noodle Tool provides for us. I hope you found this helpful and remember to come into the Edison Writing Center for any of your other writing needs.